Hey, howdy there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the interweb and the book of faces. Safety first, of course. Alrighty, so we did quite a bit of work this weekend. Well, come work, some not work. I just any of you guys have done this stuff, you know that some of these times when you work on these trucks, or any classic for that matter, sometimes it's like, holy cow, I got just a ton done. Other stuff is like, oh my god, I spent an entire day or weekend working on just a few things. So, but here we'll do a quick rundown. So this is now being called the mill truck because um, that sticker, looking it up, is from Christensen Lumber Mill. Um, so we're calling it the mill truck. Uh, got it all cleaned up. Um, I post some of the pictures on the different deals, but uh, CLR does wonders. I just I got tired of everything rubbing off on me every time I was touching or even looking at this thing and crap falling on me every time I was doing stuff. So I um, had to roll it out and do some cleanup and flush out and stuff onto it. Um, just did some work on this since um, Black Beauty over there has some parts on order for it. Um, just some connecting stuff. Just nothing major, just... Little things left to go onto it. So we worked on the mill truck, got the steering all together and linked up, um, got the front all set up for the radiator mount that's back inside there. And then that's for the, um, the front mount for the front clip. So got that fabbed up. That'll poke up through how to do a special deal for that. So but the radiator sitting where it needs to sit um, in the opening. Um, as well as giving plenty of clearance between the radiator and the engine to do work on the serpentine or idlers or tensioners or any of that kind of stuff. So there's, there's plenty of room there and it gets it up to where it sits nicely in the opening um, of the radiator. In fact, the top of the radiator sits right at the top of that it's right there, not this up here, but that right there. So plenty of air coming through with it. A little bit of be blocked from the bumper, but not a whole lot, but had some kind of reworking since we're using the new style cab, front cab mounts. So it takes the cab and slides it back so that the wheels are centered inside the, the wheel well. So it does bring everything, you know, the whole front of the truck comes forward more. So we got to kind of play with that spacing and stuff there with it. Um, what would be really nice is and the more I look at it, the more I think about it, it'd be awesome to take the whole engine and tranny and stuff and shift it back. Cause as you can see, there is a massive amount of room since the cab goes back to center up the, the wheels inside the front wheel wells and stuff on it. So you can see how huge that gap is. So it'd be just awesome if you could take the whole thing and slide it back. Then you could really bob the front off and, and have plenty of room to play with radiator and, and all that kind of stuff with it. Um, or like my dad has said, you could go with you know, the truck radiator and, and stuff on it. So um, things to think about. The more we do with these, then the more stuff um, gets modified, gets changes, gets perfected. So we're clipping along. We're just doing awesome. Everything gets better every time we do one. So yeah, so the mill truck um, has got that. The cab does have to come off one more time so that that stuff can be painted and some other welds on the back um, cab support can be done up and stuff on it, um, as well as the back cab corners. Cause of course you have to notch the back of the cab out to fit the crown big chassis so that of course has to be sealed that seam in there otherwise it's just an open pocket so we'll get in there and get that up so the cab will have to come off but as i said in the last video that's no problem with the cool winches and stuff on it have the smaller ones set up in front to raise the whole clip up and down so i can do test fits and move things around all by myself uh, with it so like i said black beauty has um stuff coming on the way for it uh we got some brake parts for the white truck over there, got to figure out some brake stuff with this one because um, looking online and correct me if anybody sees it, but um, we found some stuff online saying that you can't, since this has ABS with the Crown Vic, you can't use a non-ABS booster and master cylinder with ABS. And so that one doesn't have it. So it's going to use the cool truck style um, booster and everything on it. So, but yeah, this one's rocking and rolling. Got the AC stuff kind of tied up, did some modifying. I guess we'll look over and see. I don't know if you can see it from in there with the... Uh, no, it's hard to see, but where my phone is at down there, we have the floor scoop sitting there and I made some louvers and stuff with it. So it kind of directs air a little more. And then we're going to run a large duck just over here into that opening. And that way he can do whatever he wants to do with it, run it somewhere else later on. But it's all tucked back inside there on it with the AC. So yeah. And uh oh, the Nova lost its rear end. So uh, pulling out the one wheel peel puny little... 10 bolt and putting in an awesome posi 10 bolt with 373 gears 
and eaten axles and all kinds of fun stuff onto it. So that's going to go in. Um, pulled everything just because got underneath there. And actually, it's really clean, really nice. Oh, and we got a bushing kit from it, all given to me by friends and stuff. And a guy from uh, Nova Page gave me the rear end and stuff on it. So pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, those springs will go on there and get that cleaned up and painted up. And just as I was under there, I realized it's not bad. It's in really good shape. Just some surface rust stuff, just dirty and yucky. So before I put the rear end back in, I'm going to clean underneath of there, get it all brushed out and hit it with some rust oleum and stuff to get the underside all painted to protect it and keep it better since this is a nice car. And then we have the cool crate motor, quote unquote, <laughs> that a buddy got for me. So we'll get that thing all cleaned up and got the goodies in the opposite corner over there that I've showed before for it that'll make it romp like a beast plus the four speed um, on it as well. The new seats are in. So yeah, we're moving along around. Moving right along. So next we'll do some stuff on the white truck, get that front clip mounted up because that's completely different since we're not using the radiator and the ABS and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if I've shown any walked over here in this one. Check and see. But yeah, so whacked off a huge amount of the front end because we don't care. We don't need it. We're going to do custom front end with it. So I'm trying to lighten things up too. So we'll be able to come back up here and plate that across and make the front mounting system um, work a lot better to actually have plenty of room to come in or out or wherever I need to to line up with those down there so that it sits on here um, a lot better and mounts up like it's supposed to. So got to figure out some stuff for the steering onto it too because um, this is the power assist rack. So uh, yeah, not sure what we're going to do with that yet. So if anybody has insight on that, either DM me or message me or on the Facebook on the F100 um, pages or the Crown Vic Swap um, Facebook page. Hit me up there too with it. So yeah, rocking and rolling. This thing needs to be cleaned as well too, but we'll get to that once we get some of this stuff put back together on it. So yeah, rocking and rolling. Loving the new shop. Thanks. Later, everyone.